So petroleum, as we've discussed in the previous lecture, is also known as crude oil. It is a naturally occurring complex mixture of hydrocarbons and other organic compounds. So in nature, we can describe it to be a liquid or semi-liquid state, right, with varying consistency and color. We can also describe it to be hydrocarbon based, you know, that is comprising mainly of hydrocarbons, which are molecules consisting of hydrogen and carbon atoms. We can also describe um, petroleum as to having a complex mixture, you know, containing a wide range of hydrocarbons, which includes paraffins, naphthenes, aromatics, asphaltines, as well as other, you know, other organic compounds like um, nitrogen, sulfur, oxygen, right? So we can also describe its nature to be fossilized. It's a fossil fuel. You see, petroleum is formed from um, ancient plant and animal remains that have been subjected to heat, pressure, and time, making it a fossil fuel. And we can also describe its nature to be that of non-renewable, as a non-renewable energy source meaning that it is a finite source it can be consumed and not replaced right it cannot be replenished in any human time scale so it can we can also classify nature to be variable okay because petroleum composition and properties can naturally vary significantly depending on its source or its geology or the conditions surrounding its formation so its nature could be ascribed to be energy dense um, making it a valuable resource for transportation you know industrial and um, energy applications all right and then we could classify petroleum based on properties composition and uses all right so according to properties on classification of petroleum we could have density we could have viscosity and then we could have sulfur content all right being classified based on density um, we have what is called the light medium and heavy petroleum all right so for light petroleum um, they are being characterized according to um, 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 API gravity of greater than 31.1 degree we shall be discussing this in the later lecture so for medium petroleum the API gravity is from just within 26 to 31.1 degrees and then for heavier petroleum their API gravity is less than 26. So according to viscosity, we have the low, medium, and high, right, based on their fluidity. And then according to sulfur content, we could classify them to be either sweet or sour, right? For sweet, crude, um, that means their sulfur content is actually less than 0.5%. So, for a sour crude is having its sulfur content greater than 0.5%. So, we can actually classify also petroleum based on their composition as being paraffinic, being naphthenic, being aromatic, or being asphaltinic. Right? So, being paraffinic means that the Petroleum has high paraffinic content. And you know what the paraffins are, the alkanes. So it could be waxy and crystalline. So being naphthenic means that it has high naphthene content. And it's so sweet and aromatic, okay? So based on aromatic composition, you know, that means they contain aromatic content. 
they are also sweet and fragrant then based on asphaltinic so that means they possess high asphaltin content making them heavy and uh, viscous so we can actually classify petroleum here again according to their uses and we can use them as fuel um, examples of fuel we have gasoline or which we call petrol we have diesel fuel that's gas oil you know for heavier machineries then we have the jet fuel for aviation you know turbine fuel then we have fuel oil such as um, the heating oil and the bunk of fuel right so we can also have it being used as lubricants for motor oils for greases for industrial oils then we can also derive some petrochemicals as used for petrochemicals they could serve as feedstock for plastics fertilizers and other chemicals and we can also employ petroleum as specialty products specialty products such as solvents you know making of solvents petroleum jelly paraffin wax and um, asphalt natural gas on the other hand is a naturally occurring hydrocarbon gas mixture consisting primarily of methane with small amounts of other hydrocarbons and impurities so and it's a vital energy source used for electricity generation um, industrial processes residential and commercial heating it is also used for cooking and um, transportation such as the compressed natural gas which is cng and the uh, liquefied natural gas which is lng and based on its composition we can say it is divided into methane uh, ethane propane butane and other hydrocarbons right with their various percentages it is colorless and odorless so usually macaptans are added to initiate some degree of odor so as to help it to be characterized and detected so and again it is highly flammable it is um, less dense than air and can be easily liquefied at low temperatures and high pressures Thank you.